<laughs> hey, I want to take a little time tonight to answer a question that I have received repeatedly over the last several months. Uh, I've received it both in my live chats and via email, etc. And I've never gotten around to answering this question, but I wanted to do it tonight because, you know, better late than never. Now, these questions revolve around the solvent traps you see for sale on the internet. You know, those things that are definitely not suppressors. Even though they look just like suppressors, uh, they have baffles like suppressors, they're often rated for diameters like suppressors, and they screw on threaded barrels like suppressors. Well, but they're still not suppressors because they don't have a hole in the other end, so you can legally own one without going through the paperwork to own a suppressor because it isn't one. Well, people see these and they're like, is this too good to be true? Is this some kind of sting? And they ask me what I think of them and would I purchase one? Well, I'm going to say, well, they're not too good to be true because they're there. They're real. <laughs> you can actually buy one. So it, it's true. You can buy one. Uh, now, why would you want one? I don't know. I wouldn't want a solvent trap. I've never had a use for one in my entire life. I just hold my guns over a rag when I clean them and I don't re, uh, use that much solvent. <laughs> but I guess some people might want one. And you can totally illegally own one. It's just a solvent trap. It's nothing else. Now, you could convert one of these to a suppressor. Uh, all you'd have to do is fill out the proper form with the ATF, pay the $200 tax stamp, and once you got the tax stamp, you could manufacture that suppressor. Uh, but what would be the point of that? <laughs> you know, if you just buy a suppressor. Oh, well, they are cheaper. That's one thing I will say. And that does kind of show you that if the government got its nose out of the suppressor business, they'd be a lot cheaper to make because if these people can make them cheaply, so could other people uh, as suppressors. They just have to drill one more hole. So that shows you that the government shouldn't be involved in this because why shouldn't people have suppressors? To me, they're like uh, politeners, if you ask me, because if I go out on my backyard range and shoot, it would be much politer for my neighbors if I actually used a suppressor. But I don't because I'm really not all that polite and uh, I don't want something else to clean. I just put on my ear protection and not have to clean a suppressor. So I prefer not to use them. I have them. I have actual suppressors. I just choose not to use them. So, you know, you could buy them and have them, like I said, totally legal, and you could convert them to a suppressor if you wanted to, if you filled out the right paperwork. Problem is, if you converted it to a suppressor without filling out the paperwork, well, then you're a felon. These aren't like 80% lowers. You can, you can build a gun of your own with no paperwork, nothing at home. So if you get an 80% uh, lower, you finish it up, turn it into a gun, totally legal, you've committed no crime. Uh, with this, drill a hole in the other end, and now you're a felon. Uh, so that's, you know, a risky thing there. Now, a lot of people will say, well, I would never actually do that. Okay, good. Then you wouldn't get in trouble, you would think. But you know what? Uh, when you ask me if I would ever buy one, <laughs> no fucking way. And I'll tell you why. Because even if I bought one and I didn't turn it into a suppressor, I could still get in a lot of trouble, I think. Uh, because a lot of people would say, you know, buy them. Keep them, don't turn them into suppressors, don't break the law, but have several of them there in different sizes. And then if law doesn't mean anything anymore, you've got them that you can turn into suppressors. Well, that makes a lot of sense. And I won't fault anyone if they ever did that, but here's why I won't do it. Because before there's ever a you know, collapse of society, there's gonna be bad times where the government's out to get us. Uh, and even if the government isn't out to get us, or because things are collapsing, even if it's just normal times, sometimes the government decides certain things are illegal suddenly uh, when they weren't before. And if they would decide that, hey, these solvent traps are just a way of getting around the suppressor laws, so therefore we're outlawing them, and we're gonna to go to all the companies that sell them and close them down and take all their records, well, now they have a list of every person who's bought them. These now illegal items. Uh, and if they don't just make the item illegal, uh, if they just make it to where it's illegal to sell them because people are converting them illegally into suppressors, well, they still got all those lists of every credit card that was used to buy them, every person that filled out an order form on the internet, every address they were shipped to, you know, et cetera. Just lists and lists of people. Buying one basically gets you put on a list, you know, and it wouldn't be hard for them to get that information if they said these things are now illegal, or even if they just said, hey, we think these things are it shows a great potential for people to do illegal things. So we want a warrant to make sure people are doing the right thing and not turning them into suppressors without paperwork. So they go and they get the paperwork from the companies. They've got the list here. They compare that to the list of people that have actually filled out paperwork to make a suppressor. And if you're not on the list that got the paperwork, well, they go, well, let's pay this person a visit and let's check out and make sure they didn't turn one into anything. And if they get there and you've drilled a hole in the end of it, 
Or you say, um, I don't have it anymore. I don't know where what happened. I think I lost it in a boating accident. Well, they're going to give you a free pair of handcuffs. They're going to take you, show you your new uh, studio apartment at the Uncle Sam Arms, and they're going to say, we'll see if a jury believes you lost it. You know, <laughs> or they'll just take you in if you actually have it and it's got the whole end of it. But uh, uh, I don't want that happening to me. <laughs> you know, I don't want them catching me turning them into suppressors. But like I say, even if you didn't turn them into suppressor, if you still got them with no hole in the other end of them, and they come there, well, they've come all the way there. That would be rude of you to expect them to come all the way there without getting to violate your rights. Uh, so they might poke a hole in the end of one of them. And you might go to jail whether you did anything wrong or not. Because like I say, if bad times are coming and they're looking to disarm people, they'll do whatever they have to do to disarm you. And you gave them a good reason to come looking for you and put your name on a list where they want to come looking for who they want to come looking for. So that's one thing I don't like about them. Uh, because, and also remember, if they get a warrant to come, let's go, we got a warrant to come and make sure you didn't turn your uh, solvent trap into a suppressor. They don't have to turn a blind eye to other things. They can look at everything. That's kind of why I've never gotten a home FFL because now you're on a list of people that have home FFLs and you kind of sign away a lot of your rights to privacy because they have a right to come in and inspect and make sure you're following the rules. So if they push something like that with these things, they have a right to come in and inspect and see if you're following the rules, but they don't have to just look at that. It's like if a cop walks into your apartment, you know, looking for drugs with a warrant for drugs and he sees a dead body on the floor, he doesn't have to go, well, this warrant's not for dead bodies. So the ATS will come in and look at whatever they want to look at, and they will find something to get you in trouble for if they want to get you in trouble. I don't want them coming in and looking at my stuff. I don't want to give them a reason to look at my stuff. Uh, I mean, I like people looking at my stuff usually. I usually have to pay people to look at my stuff, but I don't want the ATF doing it, you know, at least not on their on the clock hours. So uh, that's why I would never buy one. Because even if you don't break the law, you get on a list. And if they ever illegalize them, you're definitely probably going to get a visit. Definitely, probably going to get a visit from the ATF to make sure you didn't break the law. And if they make them totally illegal, they're going to come get them if you don't turn them in. So what would be in the point? Uh, and so it's just a risk not worth taking to me. Uh, having a bunch of them that I could turn into suppressors if, if, thing ever went, if things ever went bad, it's just not worth giving them a list with my name on it and a legitimate reason to get a warrant and come look at my stuff and make sure I didn't do anything wrong because they could always find something wrong or create something wrong by dropping it out of their pocket if you've given them a reason to be there. So I would never buy one of these things. Like I said, uh, I don't think they're too good to tr be true because you can buy them and you can own them. Uh, you could even legally convert them into to suppressors if you want to pay for the tax stamp. But if you bought them and you weren't going to legally uh, change them into a suppressor, I think you would be safer if you bought it and legally converted it into a suppressor. But if you buy them and don't legally convert it into a suppressor, I think you're setting yourself up for too much trouble and too much scrutiny down the line. You're just giving the government a reason to poke their nose in your business, putting yourself on a list of people whose business they want to poke their nose into. And I personally don't want any part of that.